Hey YouTube, I bet you're thinking, where she at? Where she be? Where she's gone at? Look, I am a 41 year old woman, a mother of three, well, two and a half. My 21 year old lives on her own, so but anyway. And I got a life and I got things to do. And I run a business and I'm a wife and and a dog mom and all of that stuff. But what up? I just wanted to stop by to see how you guys are doing. Sorry about the nails, but hey, it is what it is. But let me show you what I'm cooking. And all natural. I'm trying to get that brown on. A nice press on. Yellow and orange and uh, onions I cut up and stuff. I just made some chicken thighs for my family and I'm going to saute some of these asparagus and then for myself because I am a pescatarian grilled <laughs> eat some grilled so that's where so pretty much you just hanging out with me for this evening because I mean oh sorry my face looks ooh greasy I took a shower and I have stuff on my face and I'm sorry my hair looks all janky right now I'm going to be braiding it up, and I guess you guys are going to see. I wash hair today. Believe it or not, I wash my hair. I just need to braid it back up. So, and I got to finish doing my daughter's hair. So, I'm not washing it, but blow drying it and braiding hers up. Okay, you know, my stuff is burning. I'll be okay. right back. You know how some people enjoy cooking? They enjoy seeing their family love their food. They I mean, cooking is an art. It is. They enjoy preparing, smelling the aroma, creating new recipes and all that. Me? <clears throat> no. I'm one of those. I am not a cook. I cook for my family, but I have to say I cook 40% and my husband does the 60% of the cooking because that is just not a gift that the good Lord gave me. So that's why my pans always end up looking like this. Yes. <laughs> and especially like this. Because <laughs> I'm trying to hurry up and get it done. And I just don't like cooking. I don't like it at all. But, you know, eh, got to do it. Because my husband is working 10-hour workday week this week, so I have to cook. So, hmm. That's, this is what I get for trying to cook fast. I've been doing this pan for 40 doggone minutes. Sorry, my, oh. Well, 40 minutes. Well, <laughs> Maybe three minutes, but it's almost clean. But I needed to saute those doggone asparagus. I'm going to use the other pan that I had um, my uh, peppers and my onions in to cook my, uh, to saute real quick my scrimps. So, Finally putting these doggone asparagus. Ow! Oh gosh, my mom like cooking. On, they're starting to sizzle some. And this is, I do not like salt. I don't like salty taste, but when it comes to this, I do do salt. <laughs> and if I do salt, I only do the sea salt. I'm gonna shake just a little bit on there. Not too much. So. I'm trying to get this done. Oh, doggone it. It is 7.04. I got to hurry up and saute this thing. I probably have to turn this up on high. <laughs> get it done because in 10 minutes, I have to go get my son from swim practice. And I know the first thing that he's going to ask, Mama, what's there to eat? What did Dad cook for dinner? Because like I said, mainly Dad cooked. Rodney's down, but my husband's downstairs trying to get his workout on. And me, I got so much stuff. You know what? I will tell you in the truck. Okay, 
so I made it to the YMCA here because my son is on the swim team here yeah. I would have parked up front but I didn't and there's a reason why <laughs> because of this and I knew better I should have not came out here looking like this to embarrass my son but it is such a pretty day it's been raining here a lot in Ohio and it's been such a pretty day I just be letting the sunroof up out or open I guess that's the word the windows open and I just let my fro go I mean I should have not came out I should have put my hair in a puff like I was telling myself but you know what it is what it is I got dinner done I just have to do my shrimp and everyone knows that saute shrimps that takes a hot second so the plan is to eat finish up my daughter's hair the only thing I did I done to her hair is uh, is a shampooed it with my hair and body wash that I make I shampooed it and I have it in fat twists right now because I wanted to air dry some before I uh, blow dry it. It's not good to blow dry your hair completely wet, especially if you have the time. It's good not to blow dry it completely wet because it uh, burns your hair. That hot water on your hair turns into steam and it, and it kind of boils your hair. So, But then yet it's not good to blow dry your hair when it's completely dry either. But you'll see the process um, of what I do. But anyway, blow dry her hair, oil her scalp, moisturize her hair, and braid that sucker up for her tomorrow at school. And actually, my hair is moisturized. I just need to braid it up. So that's pretty much all I'm doing right now. I'm hungry. I'm trying to eat clean. But those little Debbie cream pies, they keep on calling me. But you know what? I have other things to talk to you guys about at the house. But it's so beautiful today. Look out this window. Look at those trees. Cincinnati, Ohio? Oh, well. Couldn't see anything over there as a car. But Cincinnati, Ohio? Actually, my Heavenly Father. You have showed out today because this weather has been beautiful. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Let me text my son and let him know that I'm out here because he won't see me because I'm parked at the side because... stretched out it's pretty um that I wash our hair and then I put them in huge twists as you can see here's another huge twist just for it to let it air dry for about 90% of the way I don't want the hair completely dry which I explained that it burns the hair if your hair is completely dry but it also burns it worse if you blow dry it come 
completely wet. So right now, this is just all natural castor oil that I'm oiling our scalp. Anytime I wash, and I wash hair, I shampoo hair with my all natural that I make, Destiny Fulfilling Hair and Body Wash. So I wash our hair every week and then I let it dry and then I'll uh, put that uh, Cantu leave-in conditioner. Oh my gosh, it is so soft. Cantu leave-in conditioner. And now I am oiling her scalp with, with castor oil and all you natural ladies know, and probably some gentlemen know, that castor oil is what's up. But it's great for the scalp. But I'm also gonna put two fingers of it and put it on the edge or the tips of her hair because you know that's the oldest part of our hair. Then how I finish it off, I'll get some more of the leave-in conditioner, that Cantu leave-in conditioner. Saw some hair. Just, just a tad. You see my hand? Just to put it back just a tad moisture, but I don't want it to uh, revert back. And this, what I'm doing to her hair is what I did to mine. Then I'll add some of the hair and body oil that I showed you earlier. A tad of that. And my baby's cleaning off her glasses. Say hey, Taylor. Hello. She done, Hi. oh, and now I'm sealing it with my, whoop, Destiny Fulfilling Hair. And this is just a scent that I like the uh, cranberry mango hair and body cream for a ceiling. And I make that myself also. That's my business, guys. I also have lip balms and body scrubs and things like that, but yeah. Then I'll look, tangle free. She's not making a face, she's not saying out. And that's the main reason why I like to blow dry our hair. Not just for the stretch, I think is I uh, our hair does not get tangled for the rest of the week, and I think that's more healthier for our hair. So, if it doesn't get tangled, then it doesn't break off. So I just quickly braid it, as you see me doing. I don't know what noise that she's knocking down some things, but anyway. And I'll take, and at the tip here, I'll just take some of my cream that I make. And then voila, it doesn't have to be curled. And that's what I'm going to do. Look at that beautiful long. And I've been doing this technique to our hair. And this is our wash day technique. I've been doing this technique to our hair. Um, how long, Taylor? For years now, huh? For years. Oh, a little single strand knots. Look at that beautiful hair. Now I'm going to oil the scalp with some castor oil like, like I said last time. I get the edges first. And then I'll do the rest of the scalp. In a little bit, guys, do not get a whole glomp with your finger. Castor oil is very, very thick. So a little bit goes a long way. You dab it on your part and it will spread like butter, like melted butter. It just spreads so easily. So I, just, I mean, you can't even see how much that I'm using. And I'll just dab, put little dabs all over. Oh, and after I apply it in that section, I'll massage her scalp for couple of seconds to make sure all that castor oil is in and I put it on her tips here her ends okay then I'll get some more leave-in conditioner about that much not, 
not too much. I want to revert back. I guess I'm doing the lock method. So my the oil that I use, the oil that I make. 100% natural. Since I make it, it is completely natural. And then my cream. I'll braid it up and be done with that section. So, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Let me finish this baby's hair so she can take a bath and go to bed. So, all right. Hair is done for tonight. This beautiful hair. Now, she's going to go take a bath and go to bed. Say good night. Good night. Child, now I'm going to do my hair. I don't have to blow dry. I mean, it shrunk some because I let it hang out, you know, and, it's, and it was hot here, so the uh, humidity got to it. But I can re-stretch it out, so, I'm, uh, so the only thing I have to do is just braid my hair up because everything that you saw that I did to her, I've already done to me. I just have to do the braiding part, so. Peeps, this is pretty much all I'm going to do tonight. I am going to braid up my hair. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos while I'm braiding up my hair. I'm going to clean up this hair so my husband won't have a hissy fit. And uh, you guys have a good night, okay? Um, okay. Good night.